Welcome to The Hollywood Scholar. I'm Jed Morgan, and today we're going to be doing a dramatic reading of the first book in my Odyssey of a Phoenix Saga, Down in Flames. Prologue Selena Wilhelm, world-famous tennis champion, renowned philanthropist, beloved celebrity, and the lonely Greek goddess, Nike. The fallen goddess of victory nurses a beer at a dilapidated Irish pub in downtown Boston. Alone and ignored by all there save one, a drunk with a taste for lonely women. The drunk slides into the bar stool next to Selena, her smile broadening when she recognizes Selena. She gushes. Holy shit, it's you, isn't it? Selena doesn't even turn to acknowledge the drunk, replying, You must be thinking of someone else. I don't think so. You're Selena Wilhelm, the tennis champion. Selena's body tenses ever so slightly before she mutters. I'm no champion. Oh, that's right. You lost to Hillary Carnegie today, didn't you? Selena tightens her jaw and takes a swig of beer to calm herself, muttering, Your tact is astounding. She downs the rest of her beer and orders another. The drunk looks up and down Selena's body, biting the lip and taking in all her beautiful curves. I'm Carmen, and you look like you need some cheering up. Why don't you come back to my place and I'll fuck those perfect tits off you. I'm not interested. Carmen slides off her stool, grabs Selena's arm, and commands, I think you are. Selena reaches over and grips Carmen's wrist with lightning speed, twisting it at an awkward angle to pop it, making a scream. Selena shoves her to the stained floor and turns back to her beer, taking a sip as if nothing had happened. Fuck off. Carmen struggles to her feet, retreating to her friends. The bartender pulls out a glass filling it for Selena. She objects. I didn't order that. It's on the house. That bastard is a pain in my ass. I've already had to drag her off two girls tonight. I thought I'd have to do the same for you, but you can handle yourself. Why haven't you thrown her out? She's the boss's daughter. I could lose my job if I mess with her. I'm a suck. She's actually a good kid when she's not drinking. But her, uh, fiancé just died. The bartender sighs, grabbing a rag to wipe down the counter, adding, She's been in here every night since. Carmen and a group of her friends walk up behind Selena. A barrel of a man towering over the others taps on her shoulder, but she ignores. He growls, I think you owe my friend an apology. Is she too much of a cunt to ask for herself? The fuck you just say? Selena finishes her drink stands, and turns to Carmen and her friends, repeating, I said, is she too much of a cunt to ask for her own fucking apology? Fuck you! The drunk takes a swing at Selena, which she easily sidesteps. The bartender just leans back with a rag and a glass to watch the fight unfold. Selena is soon standing over the unconscious bodies of Carmen and her friends. Holy shit, the bartender whispers, impressed. Fuck a lot of good you were, Selena fires back with a glare. You had it under control. She picks up her bag, pays her bill, and heads toward the door, saying, Feel free to jump in next time. Once she stormed out, the bartender stares down at his comatose customers. A moan comes from under the bar, drawing his attention to the real bartender, bound and gagged. The imposter draws a knife and throws it down to impale the floor. Inches in the real bartender's face, offering freedom if he can just reach it. Quickly untying his apron and hanging it up, the mysterious enigma follows Selena. Barely surviving her drive home, Selena unlocks her front door and walks in, turning on the lights. She grabs a beer from the fridge, unseen of the imposter standing in the shadows behind. It's a nice place you've got, Nike, the imposter whispers. Selena doesn't even flinch, replying, Glad you let yourself in, Atlas. She never looks at the intruder. She just shuffles through her kitchen to make herself a sandwich. Atlas hefts his mighty axe, explaining, This is the key to unlock any door. Timorian send you? The name Timorian hangs in the air like something forbidden. Atlas tenses like a pandemic. He really doesn't like to be called that. 
Selena scoffs slightly under breath, muttering, Forgive me if I don't adhere to my executioner's every whim. Oh, I'll be filling that role today. Selena freezes, turning to look at Atlas for the first time. Surprise in her eyes. Really? I thought he liked to do these sorts of things himself. Make sure the job is done. He has been a little preoccupied in the last few years. He finally made his lady love. He smiles slightly, amused at how accurate Selena's guess is. In a matter of speaking, Selena takes a large bite from her sandwich and finishes her beer before turning back to Atlas, noting, Gotta go sometime. I can't always win. No, you can't. Atlas swings the butt of his axe up into Selena's chin, knocking her out cold. He stares down at her still form, sadness, filling his eyes with the senseless and pointless violence required of him, sighing he needs to bind her still form. A loud ringing builds, filling the room and making Atlas's hair stand on end. He turns to stare out a window into the night sky. Something's changed. He can feel it. There's godly power in the world again. An age-old war is about to begin anew. If you like what I do here, I want to see good, compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you. Check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic driven by philosophy, morality, and modern-day mental illness issues. Book one, Down in Flames, and book two, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book three, Kill the Dark, coming soon.